Hi, welcome to Intimath. This is lesson three. We're talking about triangle and its properties in this lesson. Let's start with congruency. Congruent means the same in terms of every part of it. So triangles are congruent if they completely overlap when placed on top of each other. They have to be the same size. They have to have the same shape uh, and they need to have the same angles. Their corresponding sides and angles are equal. We'll label the sides using lowercase letters and we label the angles uh, with the same letter opposite the corresponding side. A midpoint is a midpoint in the middle of the side of the triangle. Midpoint segment is a line segment connecting two points. It's parallel to the opposite side of the triangle and is half of its length. Now let's look at median, altitude, and angle bisector. A median is a line segment that connects one of the vertices of the triangle and the midpoint of the opposite side. Therefore, it splits the opposite side into two equal parts. Altitude is a line segment connecting one of the vertices of the triangle and a point on the opposite side at a right angle. The point may or may not be the midpoint, depending on the type of the triangle. Therefore, the two triangles that are formed as a result are right angle triangles. A line segment connecting one of the vertices of the triangle and a point on the opposite side is called angle bisector and it bisects the angle at the vertex. The point may or may not be the midpoint. Bisect means divides in half. An isosceles triangle is a triangle with two equal sides and two equal angles. One of the sides and one of the angles are not the same as the other two. In the isosceles triangle, median, altitude and angle bisector are all the same lines if they come out of the vertex that is opposite the side that is not one of the same sides. Triangle ABD equals triangle CBD in this case and they are also right angle triangles. The sum of all interior angles in any triangle is 180 degrees. The base of an isosceles triangle here is 12 centimeters. A median to the base is 8 centimeters. Find the perimeter of this triangle. So since the question tells us that the triangle is an isosceles triangle, I know that this side equals that side, this angle equals that angle. The base is the side that's not the same as the other two sides, so this one is 12 centimeters, a median to the base is 8 centimeters. A median is a straight line. And for an isosceles triangle, it's the same as the altitude and the same as angle bisector. So now it bisects these, this angle into two equal angles. It lands at 90 degrees and it also cuts the base in half. And this is 8 centimeters. Let's label our triangle A, B, C. So that it's easier for us to operate it when we're solving, when we're doing the solutions. So now we're trying to find the perimeter of this triangle. Since the median, altitude and angle bisector split the large triangle into two equal triangles, we only have to do it once for an isosceles triangle. So since this base is 12 centimeters, and it's split in half by the median, then I know that A, let's call this point M, so AM is equal to 12 
over 2, which is 6 centimeters. So the length of this is 6 centimeters. So is the length of MC. Therefore, MC is also 6 centimeters. Together, it's 12. Now, in order to calculate the perimeter, we need to know all of the side length so that we can add them together. So this is 12, this is unknown, and this is unknown, but we know that this side is equal to this side. In order for us to find this side here, we can use a Pythagorean theorem within the right angle triangle here or here. So since this is a right angle triangle and this is a right angle triangle, I know this leg and I know this leg, I can find the hypotenuse. So uh, we know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared in a Pythagorean theorem. Then these two are the shorter sides and this is the longest side. In my case, the shortest side are AM and BM. And together they equal AB squared, squared, squared. Now I'm going to substitute the numbers, the values of the sides. So then 6 squared plus 8 squared equals AB squared. Based on the bad mass, I need to do exponents first and then add the results. 36 plus 64 equals AB squared. AB squared equals 100. Square root both sides. AB equals 10. AB equals 10. Let's write this down here. Since AB equals BC, BC also equals 10 centimeters. So the perimeter is AC plus AB plus BC. And that is 12 plus 10 plus 10, which is equal to 32 centimeters. And there you go. Thanks for being with me uh, today, and I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Move on to the next lesson.